So you're a Twitch streamer and you're using a webcam or like this one. If you're not too happy with the quality you're getting, well, did you know you might be using your camera wrong? In this video, I'm gonna show you what settings I would use on a webcam like this Logitech C922 or any USB webcam that you're using. I'm gonna show you how to properly set it up in OBS so that you get the best quality you can out of your webcam. This video is gonna help you go from this to this. So if you like the video, leave a like down below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, hit that subscribe button. It shows me that you guys like these videos and you want more of them. I also stream live on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from noon to four central standard time. We start every stream off in just chatting. So if you have any more questions, come on by and hang out with us. But anyway, let's just jump right into the video. Now, before I show you the settings and the walkthrough on how to set up your webcam, we need to talk about lighting first. Now, people usually overlook lighting and they think, oh, if I just buy a better camera, then I'll get better quality. Well, that's not the case. The camera that I use for my streams and for this YouTube video that you're watching is the Sony a6000 mirrorless camera and without proper lighting, it would look bad. And it's a $700 camera. Without any lights, this is what it looks like. And with too many lights, you're overexposed and this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna run over the basics real quick on lighting to help you out. Because again, lighting is key. If anything, I would tell you to get better lights versus a better camera first. I like to go for a two point lighting system. What that means is you have two lights, one on either side of you. One is called the key light and the other is the fill light. Your key light is pretty much what it says. It's the key main light that you have. It's the brightest one to shine your face. The fill light is usually not as bright and it kind of just fills in those shadows on the other side of you just a little bit. But let me show you an example. If we start with no lights, this is what it looks like. So we'll turn this one up until I like how bright it is. Usually I keep it around 15% but you can see that I have harsh shadows on this side of my face. And if you want a more cinematic look, you could just keep it this way. But what I like to do is just have a softer light on this side to kind of fill in those shadows and even out my face. My fill light is not as bright as my key, but again, it evens out the face and it kind of gets rid of those harsh shadows. And that's pretty much the basics of lighting. If you can get good lighting, it's gonna help you out a ton. So once you have your lighting situation set up, let's hop on over to my OBS and I'll show you what settings you should change to get the best quality out of your webcam for your Twitch streams. All right guys, so now we're ready to mess around with the settings for our webcam and make it look better for our Twitch streams. So first and foremost, go ahead and connect your webcam to your computer and make sure you download the software that usually comes with a webcam that is updated to the latest drivers and you know you're good there. Once you know that your webcam is updated, go on over to your OBS. We're gonna go over to where it says sources, go over to the plus sign, and then go over to video capture device. Click on that and name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name this Logitech, since that's the webcam that we're using in this video. Click on okay. And then this window is gonna pop up where it says device, click on this and then find your webcam. It should pop up. But first you're gonna to wanna to go down and then where it says resolution FPS type, Instead of default, click on custom. And then where it says resolution, do your highest resolution for your camera. So for this one, it's 1920 by 1080p. And then we're gonna go down to where it says FPS and then click on highest FPS. So for this camera, it's 30. For color space, do 709. Color range, full. Buffering, click on disable. And then that's that. So this is what the camera looks like with the lights off. So go ahead and turn on your lights. I've already set my key light and my fill light to the values that I want them to be, but keep playing around with them and see what works best for your environment. So now what we can do is go back to the property. So right click the Logitech source, go to properties, and then you're gonna click on configure video. This window should pop up right here. We're gonna start with the first tab, which is the video processing. Go ahead where it says white balance, uncheck auto. Nothing should be on auto. We should have everything manual control. I turn the brightness down to around 100, and then I'm gonna jump all the way down to saturation. I like a little bit of color and vividness in my camera, but that's personal taste. You can play around with that as well. I'm gonna turn the saturation up to 160, and then I'm gonna turn the sharp up to 150 with the sharpness you don't want to go too high it's going to start looking grainy if you go way too high but if it's too low it looks too blurry and soft so find that sweet spot you don't want to do too much where it says white balance i'm going to turn that down 
I'm going to go all the way down to around, I like to have it around 4,000 to 4,100. Make sure that the backlight comp is set to zero and not one, because if I turn this up to one, it gives you artificial lighting and it'll look grainy. And then where it says gain, I have this at around 160. So we're going to bring this up. Perfect. So then click apply. And then where it says camera control, click on that and then make sure focus is unselected from auto. And then I usually turn this to up up to around 10 just so that it focuses on me. But you see, if you go too high, it's going to blur everything. So you don't want that exposure. You can play around with the higher you go, the more artificial light's going to add. And then the lower you go, it just gets rid of everything. But since this is a webcam, five is a pretty good area to be at. I also turn off low light compensation as well. Again, we don't want that artificial lighting that the camera wants to use. But those are the settings that you really want to focus on within your properties for your webcam to make the biggest change. And there you go. You're all set. I think that looks so much better than what it looks like right out of the box because the camera's just trying to do everything by itself with artificial lighting and autofocus. But if you take manual control and tweak the settings to your liking, you're going to get a lot better of a picture out of your webcam. All right, guys. So after that, your webcam should be looking so much better for your Twitch streams. And I hope this video helped you out. If you have any more questions, comment down below or pop into one of my streams and just chatting, and then we can talk more about it.